Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Hey everyone, BOMB Flyer here. This video is going to show you how to make your Wolverine a little bit more interesting by modding it to a different variant. Here's a few things I like to use when I'm modifying plastic or metal miniatures. A good pin vise, either a hobby knife or some razor blades, and then of course some bits. Other things that come in handy are a self-healing mat, especially to cut on if you're not using a surface that is resilient like wood or something like that. You want to be careful to protect the surface you're working on. If you've never worked on something like this before and you're not above the age of 18, you need to talk to your parents first before you start doing some of this. You can really get hurt. Real quickly, I'll cover the variants. The Wolverine K adds a small laser and medium laser to the right arm. The Wolverine M just adds a medium laser. So I've got a K here and I'll show you how to make an M, but I'll also show you some ideas to make the K as well. To do the modification, the auto cannon here has got a breech as well as what looks kind of like a magazine. So that's kind of the area I wanted to work with and that was my logic behind what I wanted to do. The easiest thing to do if you've never modded before, if you buy the new Locust, which is the new sculpt metal from Wire Ironwind Metals, will be available shortly. Inside the box, you get the primary 1V configuration. You also get these alternate arms, which have a small and medium laser appropriately scaled. And the easiest thing to do is if you're making the standard Locust, is to clip one of these, trim this back, drill a hole the same size as this peg, and stick it on and then you'll have a K. That's the easiest thing I can tell you right now. So if you end up with the metal locus, this is easy. You could do two. They just have a small and medium laser one side or the other if you wanted to do that. Now there's other ideas you can use. Here's a Raptor sculpt. These are a little bit skinny, but if you have these lying around, there's a small barrel and a larger barrel and you could trim them down if you want. They don't look too, too out of place on the side here. Another one you might not have realize it would be uh, pretty good and I actually kind of stumbled across this as well as a Mad Cat sculpt. The pulse laser and the other laser for the torso. You could put these two here and trim them up. Location wise it would be up to you. So that's what I'll talk about as well. There's this little top piece here. It looks maybe like a range find or something like that. You could drill into that and put a piece of brass tubing if you wanted to make a barrel that way or styrene and then the same thing with the magazine ish thing down here is you can also attach to this point for my 6m variant i'm going to use a viking sprue i like the medium sized lasers it has here you get a pair of those and then you've got four small lasers as well so i enjoy the options and i think they look good and appropriate on this miniature you don't necessarily need to clip away the entire post. That's what the pin vise will be for. And my idea on this is I'm going to trim away these two little uh, areas here around this ejection port and then drill into this spot here to get this to just rest right above. Now to do that, this is where I recommend you use a cutting mat. So I'm going to trim here and here. Always use a sharp blade. Try to keep your fingers clear. I'm going to cut downward and then I'm also going to cut sideways, but I'm not going to do that towards me. So I'm going to turn the model a little bit here. It's going to look a little odd on camera. Now I'm trimming those pieces away. And they're out of the way. To clean this up a little bit, I'm also going to trim off this bottom magazine piece here. And now I've got mostly cleaned up and I can trim this up later. Now I've got my pin vise which matches the diameter of part of that post. And I'm just going to drill into the door, into the breach area there. Sometimes you have to back up the, the drill bit a little bit. The plastic's 
real easy to drill. Clean up any excess. And then this little wide part here, you can trim that off with a hobby knife. You can also use some clippers. And then test the fit. It doesn't quite go in the first time. Check out the hole a little bit. And I'm just going to do one little trim up here. Keep your fingers clear. As you can see throughout this whole process, there's a little bit of fitment, adjustment, trimming. If you need to use the drill again or take a little bit extra off, just work small, take your time, be patient, and be careful. All right, so now you can see I've got the laser flush into the opening. I didn't glue it down, but I'll glue it down afterwards. And then I've got this bottom piece here kind of cleared out of the way so it makes it look more like a laser and less like the auto cannon that had the, the breach there. If you get any gaps or anything you need to fill, you could always use some putty. You can also you could consider taking it off the post completely and having it sit maybe more like however you want to have it oriented. You know, you could also put it down here below, like I was showing you. You could cut off this uh, sight piece here and mount it that way. There's really a lot of options for that. Here's a list of the part numbers and the codes for each of the bits if you need to acquire these for your own modifications. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your questions or comments below. Give us a subscribe. Follow us on Battletech Camo Specs Online on Facebook. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Shutdown sequence initiated.